Hey guys, welcome to the 144th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the go to keyword and how to use regions. So, for this tutorial, all you're going to need is a button and a switch statement. So, back when we learned about switch statements, I told you that you wouldn't always see break here. Another option is to put a go to keyword here. And the go to will basically allow you to jump to a labeled line of code. And labeled code is it can be a case statement, and I'll show you another example of it later on. So if you just put go to and then case atom right here, it will just basically go to this case and execute whatever code is in here. So it'll just basically jump to that code right there. So but first it will do this message box. So now in the debug, we should get a message box saying the default, and then we should um, get a message box saying hello we have the default and then hello perfect now we don't always have to jump to something labeled with case we could just label code ourselves so we could just say my code and then just put a colon after it and then we can basically put any code in here we want so I'm just gonna have a message box that show saying hello And then we can just use the go to keyword to go to this code right here. So we can just say go to and then my code. Now we'll just basically jump to this code right here. Yep, perfect. And if you were to use this inside of a for statement, so if we just have like for, I'll just have this go on forever to show you that it'll just basically stop. So if you ever have, um, or use the go to keyword inside of code, it'll just jump to that code and it won't ever come back to the code that it came from. So we just say go to my code right here, and we'll only get one message box because it will jump to this code right here and then it will stop. It will never go back to this for loop. Hello? Yep, we only got one message box because, like I said, it just jumps to this code right here, it never goes back. Alright, so now that you know how to use the go-to keyword, I'm going to show you how to use regions. And what regions allow you to do is basically hide code. It basically just creates another one of these, um, I guess, levels on your... So it basically just creates another one of these, like, minus things over here. So if we click this, like, minus thing, it will basically just hide this code block right here. Yep. And we can basically use the end region if we had like a whole bunch of variables that we didn't want to look at every time that we were looking at our code. So in order to create a region, you're just going to want to put the pound uh, key and then type region. And then following the region keyword, you can always uh, give a name to your region. So I'm just going to call it my region, or you can default and leave it with no name. And then to end your region, you're just going to want to put the pound key and type end region. And obviously this will just hide whatever code's inside of it. So if you're just have, I don't know, a bunch of code inside of here. Uh, I'll just type out a bunch of stuff. But if we have just a bunch of code in here, it'll basically hide it when we put this little subtract bar. Yep, so now we don't see it anymore. It just makes it a lot cleaner if you have like a whole bunch of methods that you don't want to look at and you already know what they do and you know that they're correct, then you can just use a region to hide them. Alright. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the go-to keyword and using regions. So see you guys.